excited today because I am at probably one of the most premier smallmouth lakes that I've never actually been on. And you guys know, even though I live in Florida, I have a penchant for the brown fish. You know, when the guys from American Bait Works called and said that uh, we want you to go test these baits, I was like, of course, you know. When they said I get to go to Mille Lacs and try out bait fuel, ha, I'm in. So we were moving around a lot and, and, and I, I kind of got sidetracked a little bit on some some moving fish that we saw following our baits coming in. And I went back to what I like to do with smallmouth, get that drop shot out, you know, and uh, be able to target stuff I can see. I think this guy is about, he is not a giant, but that is a fat Malax smallmouth. Look at that. And he could not resist the bait fuel. So many people, when they think about scents, they think about the old technology that were smelly and gooey and messy. Bait fuel is none of that. It's clean, it's built into the baits, it doesn't smell bad, and it works. I was going back and forth between the drop shot and the Ned Rig. Caught this one on the Ned Rig. And it had a little swimmer on it. Just a little, little spanky swimmer. But it's on a Ned Rig. We're just kind of hopping it around out there. <laughs> Look at that. Another good one. Look at that tank. <laughs> that is the flat side shad with the bait fuel in it. Look at that guy, beautiful smallmouth, red-eyed, fat up here in the fall. God, how much fun is that? Awesome. It was cool for me to see how well that these northern smallmouth reacted to it. I already know how much largemouth like it, but to see these northern smallmouth just as aggressive on it was awesome. It's not very often when a product comes along that I haven't seen time and time again. And this is something that's new, it's completely completely different technology and it's going to change the way we fish. Today we're going to test it on northern largemouth. We've got an awesome lake here. We know it's got a lot of bass in it. We got a nice cool fall morning. You know we're going to be swimming the pack of slim around. You know I'm going to be pitching around and flipping around the set the hook dragon craw. It's awesome dragon bait but I love to flip it too. You know we're going to be up in some really heavy cover and like I said we are going to test this bait fuel make for sure that northern largemouth like it just as much as the southern largemouth do. Well, look how, I mean, look how fat fish is as fat as I am. Look at that guy. Talk about feeding up and feeding up on that bait fuel. I mean, that thing, you'd think that was a pre-spawn fish. Look at that. <laughs> How awesome is that? Wow. So what we, what we have here, we, we've, got, we've got a natural northern lake up here in north central Minnesota. And it's in the fall. We thought we were going to come here and pitch some reeds and stuff. We got here and the lake level's a little bit low. So what we've done, we kind of found a little bit of grass out off the bank. And I got a pocket slim, obviously with bait fuel in it. And I'm kind of swimming it kind of letting it fall down into that grass out there. And uh, you know, we were covering some water, covering some water. Finally got a bite from a pike. And then about two casts later, I caught a largemouth. And now it's kind of been bang, bang, bang. They own.
As bass fishermen and just fishermen in general, we are always looking for an edge and bait fuel is going to be that edge.